Hey, what's up, everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And this is the sweatiest that I have ever been. <laughs> so I am currently on vacation in beautiful Austin, Texas, having a great time taking in the sights and sounds and just relaxing and having fun. I am currently in McKinney Falls State Park. Really beautiful, really cool. You'll hear some people off in the distance. They're, they're having fun swimming and stuff. Uh, so really great place. And uh, it's just a little humid. I'm not used to the mugginess of Austin. It's very, it's a lot of humidity, which, you know, I'm from a very barren, dry place. Uh, but other than that, it's really fun. Long story short, I wanted to make an EDC update for my vacation. Obviously, uh, your everyday carry stuff is going to switch up depending on the season, where you're going, the laws and culture of where you're going, all that stuff. Uh, what you're going to be doing, of course, all that stuff's going to take, you know, it's going to shape your your setup. Not only that, but I actually do have a good amount of new cool stuff that I wanted to show as well. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so of course we start from head to toe. I did leave my cowboy hats at home. I knew that I wasn't gonna be doing a lot of outdoor activities. So it's a lot of city slicker stuff, to be honest. So I left my hats at home. Normally, you know, I'd never leave home without some kind of headwear to protect me from the burning sun and stuff like that. Uh, I left them at home. I did buy these glasses though. So these are some Shinerbach glasses. I did take the tour. I went to Shiner, Texas, you know, went to the brewery. Really cool, really cool area. And uh, I did buy myself some sunglasses because, you know, of course, it's, it's really hot. It's, uh, you know, very bright. So I did get me some sunglasses. That is definitely a part of my everyday carry that is uh, very overlooked. I got to say, I personally don't really like wearing glass sunglasses, so I tend to overlook that. But I do have sensitive eyes, so I really need to get to the you know, get with the program and start rocking these. So, especially since I don't have a hat, I'm gonna be rocking some sunglasses. Very simple Wayfarer type glasses, but uh, yeah, Shiner Bach. Other than that, of course, I have my notepad and pen. Um, almost done with my notepad and pen. Pretty much down to like three pages. Uh, somebody drew me a dinosaur. <laughs> so, yeah. Worse for wear, pretty beat up, but I always have a notepad and pen to write and draw, all that stuff, to-do to lists, objectives, you know, ideas. Uh, that is about it, so let's get to the fun stuff. So, let's talk about my belt knife. Now, this is a snake eater. Obviously, you know snake eaters. I, I designed it. It's made by wood steel knives. It may not seem like such a brand new thing since I've been rocking them for almost two years, but if you've been watching my channel for any length of time the last couple months, uh, you'll know that I did lose my original. Sadly, the, the 001 snake eater is gone, uh, so right away I had to replace it. And uh, this one is 005. Not sure if the camera can pick that up. So this was pre-owned by somebody, uh, and he, you know, he was kind enough to reach out to me if, if I wanted to buy it off of him, you know, once he heard about, you know, what happened with me. So uh, I did buy it, black micarta, orange liners, AEBL, stainless steel, 90 degree spine, multi-grind, scandy to flat, nice little belly for skinning. In fact, I recently skinned a jackrabbit with this guy, so it's already tasted blood. I'll have that video up pretty soon. Uh, great little blade, of course. I cannot recommend Snake Eaters enough. That is a perfect knife for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that I have a new one now. So, let me put this away. Now, because I am admittedly doing a lot of city slicker stuff, I'm not really doing a lot of outdoor stuff here in Austin. I'm kind of taking a little break. Um, Austin's a different place from El Paso, Texas. They're not too open into the whole having a fixed blade on you like out in public. So uh, I'm going to be a little bit more subtle. So to be honest, I leave this at the hotel when I'm not using it or in the vehicle. Uh, and what I've been rocking in this vacation is my Reiki multifunction tool. So it's like a, something like a Swiss Army knife. We do have a review on this if you want to check it out. Um, not sure if this particular model is made anymore. It has not been available for months. I don't know what happened there. But uh, yeah, for here in the city, got a nice little flat grind blade right there. Saw bottle opener, which has been getting a ton of use this vacation. Flathead, flathead screwdriver, a seatbelt cutter, 
There's a glass breaker right here on the tip, if you can see that. And some tweezers, some really robust pair of tweezers. So yeah, a very Swiss Army inspired type blade. So something a little bit more subtle and multifunctional for this trip. Well, since we're already here, let's talk about the other stuff. Uh, you'll see right next to it, I have a new flashlight. So this is the Phoenix E18R V2 flashlight, uh, recently sent to me by Phoenix. So um, you'll see a review pretty soon. As you can tell, this thing is tiny. It's even smaller than my Thrunite T1. Uh, it packs a punch, 1,200 lumens, you know, magnetic back, USB-C rechargeable, great little light. Be prepared to see a review on this pretty soon. And then in my coin pocket here, I do have a lighter. So always have some form of combustion with you. And this is a clipper lighter. So this was a gift from viewer and patron James Hyde. He sent this to me. Thank you so much, James. I'll, I'll be showing something else he gave me in a little bit, another piece of gear. Uh, really like clipper lighters. So I like the, the shape of them. And yeah. So right here alone in this pocket, I have a multi-tool a flashlight, and ignition. So right there is already the bulk of my the gear that I'm going to be carrying. And of course, keys, always same old, same old. And then I have my bandana. And the bandana is basically a sweat rag at this point. Just very humid. So this thing has come in handy for that. A thousand uses for a bandana, you guys already know. All right, and now let's go ahead and talk about my boots because I do have a boot, new boot knife. So, yeah, just please ignore these hideous wires from my microphone. All right, so here is my new boot knife right here. And this was a gift from James Hyde, the same viewer that sent me the clipper lighter. And he customized this blade for me. So this beauty right here, he called it... Hombre del Desierto, that means man of the desert. Blade. Check out this little hollow grind blade. Not sure what these are called, but they're like a beige white micarta with uh, foliage green liners. So yeah, it is a beauty. Nice little handful there. And uh, yeah, great knife. Big, big thank you to James Hyde. Thank you so much, buddy. We appreciate all your love and support. Uh, he did give Corvo one as well. His is a different color. And then uh, I did buy this leather sheath from, I bought it on Etsy for like 18 bucks. So it's a steal. And this fits pretty good. It's a pretty snug fit. It's a little difficult to get in there. But once you do, you're good to go. And I always have a knife concealed on me. Right there. Okay, and the stuff that I don't have on my person, of course, is my Tough Possum Gear Shackleton Haversack. I have a review on this. If you want to check it out, I'll post it right above. You can check it out right there. So check out this great little bag. Really awesome. Goes with me everywhere. Um, on the side here, I have my Baco Laplander. So a saw. Didn't really need it because I knew that I wasn't going to be doing a lot of, you know, outdoor activities during this trip. But, you know, that's, it's, that's the home for the saw. So it was going to go there anyway. And then here I am testing another Phoenix light as well. So they sent me two. This is the Phoenix TK22 TAC. So you'll see a review on this bad boy pretty soon. As you can tell, this thing is a far larger, more substantial flashlight. And uh, I'm trying to do all this one-handed. Oh, and of course, always have a canteen, some kind of water container because it is definitely really burning hot and, and humid. So I'm just, just rocketing through all this water. But uh, yeah, I always forget to talk about that. So let's open this up, and I'm just going to be very brief about it. 
All right, so in here, always, you, you know what I normally carry in here. So I have a poncho slash small tarp just in case. I will be replacing this with something a little bit better because I do think this is uh, a little flawed in design. It's it's good for have, to have an, as, as an emergency, but I'm definitely looking to upgrade this. Uh, these were recently gifted to me. They're glasses for like uh, the blue light. Since I'm always editing or on my phone, I get uh, eye pain a lot. So this is going to help me out with that. I did get this recently. Now this is really awesome. It's a small camera. It's, a, it's an attachment for your camera, for your camera phone. And it films in night vision. So that's super cool. That's going to be really great for like stealth camping or maybe filming animals at nighttime when I'm camping, like raccoons or something. So yeah, let me see. I'm going to try to open it. I'm trying to do this all one-handed here. But there it is. There's the lens. So really cool. Be prepared to see that in action pretty soon. Headphones for your iPhone. I do have my Yuko Sprout Lantern. I always try to have some secondary source of uh, illumination other than flashlights. So uh, if I was camping or whatever the case may be and I do need to set up my tarp, I do have a light source in there, a lantern. So I always carry this guy with me. Of course, I always have a cup just in case a container. You never know. And then I like these little honey stinger waffle things. These things are really great. A little go-to snack whenever you're feeling a little, you need a little pick-me-up. There you go. Of course, I have my Nightcore power bank right here for, to charge my phone. Uh, some paracord down here. I have a small multi-tool right here. This is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Secondary lighter right there with my exotac this is a glow in the dark little lantern and then of course spork barrel rod and my wallet of course and uh just right here i got a couple of eye drops and then bug juice to keep the mosquitoes away and some hand sanitizer and that is about it. I'm keeping it very simple this time. Well, folks, that is about it for me. A short and sweet vacation EDC update. I have a somewhat new belt knife, um, a couple of new flashlights from Phoenix, a new camera attachment that I'm testing out. I will, I will be reviewing that pretty soon, the night vision camera, and also a brand new boot knife. Big thank you to James Hyde for sending that, sending that along. We're always very appreciative of all your gifts and your continuous support throughout the years, James. So big thank you, buddy. And that's about it for me, folks. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.